What would ego do without a problem? Hi, I'm Nordin Zwarek. In this short video, I will share with you a powerful trick I use to outsmart ego when ego is in the way, when ego is not conducive to my health and well-being or the health and well-being of those around me. Sometimes when I feel overwhelmed with thoughts, things to do, people to deal with, I ask myself, how would my life be if there was nowhere to go, nothing to do, and no issues to deal with? How would my life be then? Not fun, right? We need, we need the challenges. We need the competition. We need the thrill, the excitement. We need all of these things. But is ego really necessary to happiness? And the answer is yes and no. Yes, because as I mentioned, we need, we need the thrill. We need to engage and compete and, and be there. The I is overwhelming. I want to do this. So I want to do that. I want to get to the top. I want to make the millions, the billions of dollars. I want to get this beautiful, incredible, huge house. I want to do this. So get that. So the wanting, the wanting that ego feeds off is necessary for us to move forward in our jobs, in, in anything that has to do with doing. But there lies the question, is the doing, the doing this and getting that and doing more and getting more, is it really necessary to happiness? And that's where the no comes in. No, it's not necessary to happiness. Ego is not necessary to happiness. We are happy, period. Or we are unhappy, period. No matter how happy we are, ego plays no role in it. Now, unhappiness, as I mentioned before many times, is part of that survival of the ego. It is ego saying, hey, listen, no, I am not okay. You need to get me this, so you need to get me that. You need to do this, so you need to do that. Nothing wrong with that, as I said earlier. If you're not attached to the outcome of your doing, if you are not deceived when you're not getting this or that, that is where unnecessary pain and suffering occurs. When we plan to do these things and we are not getting what we want, ego gets hurt. Hence, we feel unhappy. We feel unhappy. So, what would ego do with our problem? You're waking up in the morning, you feel okay, you had a great night's sleep, you're about to do what you're about to do, and you either get a call or you read your first email of the day, and boom, there's some news that really triggered something in you anger, disappointment, fear, anxiety, boom, ego gets in the way. You're not the software, your, your brain, your thoughts are going straight to that negative field or negative 
zone where from that phone call or that first email and the content of it um, may be triggering an avalanche of other negative thoughts, hence making your day a living hell. So that's when we can say that ego was looking for problems because you could have read the email, not gotten attached to the content of it, but engage in looking for facts and evidence of what is this thing? Asking yourself questions like, what I'm reading now is making f me feel this way. Why? Why is it making me feel this way? After all, it's just things. Unless, of course, you're reading bad, extremely bad news. That's something totally different. What we are talking about is that mundane routine of ours when uh, that starts from the minute we get up to the minute we go to sleep. We have this voice, that, uh, a call from myself, I call it the little, little Nordine. You can call it the little, whoever, whatever your name is, in the center right here of your head, that its sole um, job is to look inside of our memory bank, our subconscious mind, and compare it to what we are living now, and if it matches, you're recreating that event. You're recreating physiologically. You are anxious, fearful, uh, because you read similar things that made you in the past feeling the same way. The opposite is also valid. If you're reading something positive, your ego is, oh, wow, great. See what I'm saying? So it's fair to say that what you're reading or hearing, if it's not matching what is in your head, what your ego wants to hear or read, you start feeling weird, anxious, disappointed, fearful. So how can we deal with that? How can we, of course, ego, as I said, is necessary. It's part of us. But there are things that we must not identify with, like anger, frustration, unnecessary anger, frustration, etc., that create unnecessary pain and suffering, not only for yourself, but people around you. It can ruin the whole day. It can ruin the whole week or month. So my job is to help you detach from what is making you feel that way and engage rather intellectually engaging in whatever you are reading or hearing gathering facts and evidence and removing yourself st taking a step back emotionally that is taking a step back and taking enough time to ask is what i'm reading or hearing really matters to my health and well-being is what i'm hearing or reading really matters to my health and well-being and hence the health and well-being of people around me is it really worth it to ruin my day for this email or for this phone call no of course, there are times we cannot do that. We jump right in. We just buy into our egos, um, wanting to just take that to the next level, right? I urge you not to do that. I urge you not to do that because, like I said, it has a potential to ruin your day or more. The physiological event of feeling stressed like this is not, it is not what you want to feel. In the long run, when it comes to health, it can really damage your health. So learn how to detach from what has the potential 
to hurt you, emotionally that is, and otherwise. So what would ego do without a problem? It is a question we should all ask ourselves several times a day. You know why? Because sooner or later, you'll gain the awareness that you are not this, you are not that, you are you. So my friends, is it really worthy to ruin your day over an email or over a conversation, over a word that was said to you? I don't think so. What would ego do without a problem? Nothing. I hope this video will help you. Please like and subscribe. Also, visit my website at nordinezwareg.com. Nordinezwareg.com. Thank you for watching. See you next video.